Okay, so welcome back. We've here's our WordPress site, which is a clean install. If we go into the dashboard, um, all I've done is changed, created some pages. So I created a static home page, a blog page. Um, I've also installed and activated Page uh, Beaver Builder. Um, I've also changed the um, permalink so it displays as a post name. And the other thing I've done is I've gone and installed from the repository a plugin called What Template, and that will just show us the page that's being loaded the, for the template, so we'll know what we need to create. So let's go and have a look at our pages. So you can see I've got the home page, the blog page, and a single page, and we've got the default post in here. So let's go and first view our post, and if we look up with that What template is this you can see it's called single dot php so let's write that down i'll open up my notepad here so post page equals single dot php the other thing we can do is we'll go into our pages and we'll look at all our pages let's look at our home page first so in our home page we have page dot php and this is just taking it from the default um, 2016 theme that comes loaded. I haven't installed any themes or changed anything other than that. And if we go to our blog page, that is loading index.php. And if we take a look at our last page, which is just a single page, which has no content in it, which you will see, so there's no content in here, we can see that is also loading um, page.php. Now we may or may not want to build a custom layer for the home page and then let Beaver Builder do just the page.php. Um, we will cross that in another tutorial series, but for now, so all we need to do is build out single.php, page.php, index.php, and page.php in order for us to have a um, basic theme. Now, if you look at the theme requirements for WordPress, you must have an index.php. That is important because if we go into the WordPress template hierarchy and have a look scroll down a bit and there's this big graphic here we'll click on and open so we can see what page we're loading and then it will th load th go through and load all these pages and then finally if nothing exists it loads index so for example for a single page so for a static page and a post page so let's look at a static page which is a page single post being a post so it looks for custom.php. Um, so that's a custom template. Then it will look for page-slug. Then it will look for page-id. If it can't find that, so let's say page dash. So in um, if we remember from our single page, single dash page. So it looks for a custom template, then it will look for page dash single dash page, then it looks for page dash whatever the post ID is, and then if it can't load that, find that, it just loads page.php, if it can't find that, it'll load singular.php, and then if it can't load that, it loads the final one, which is index. And then when we go to the post page, it looks for a MIME type, so a MIME is like a JPEG um, PDF uh, type, so basically your media types. Then it will look for a subtype. Then it looks for the MIME type subtype. But then it looks for attachment.php, single-posttype.php. So uh, for example, for easy digital download, the post type is download, so it would be single-downloads. Or it will look for a, so that's for a custom post. If it's a blog post, it looks for single-post. If it can't find any of those, it loads single.php and then it will load singular.php and then index.php. <clears throat> and for the home page, it looks for front-page.php. 
then it looks for home.php oh sorry then if it's a if it's a static page it should goes up and it will load the page.php singular.php and if it doesn't find any of that it looks for home-php if it's a um, post being shown and if it doesn't find that it finds index so basically what you could do is you could set up a singular-php from 4.3 on and that will handle both our posts and our pages and then we could set up a front-page.php to have a complete custom front page so that's what we will do because we're going to treat with be the builder we are going to treat posts and pages as the same thing it's only going to all it's going to do is load the content and then Beaver Builder is going to do the design and the layout itself so we're not doing any layouts for both of these sorts so we're going to use singular-php and index.php for the blog page so for the home for the blog page index.php and then we're going to post page and home oh, post and page not home we're going to do singular.php. Now that means that anyone using our theme has to be running version 4.3 and up of WordPress. It won't work if they're loading another one. So if you're using an older version of WordPress, you will have to change. Now my WordPress version is, should say down here, 4.6. So I'm good to go. So now we know what pages we need to do. I want to show you a couple of different other pages that we want to look at. And we've got our, um, we've already discussed the blog index. We've got a 404 page, which goes 404. And we've got a search page, which so when someone does a search, it brings up these search results. We're not going to be covering these off today. We are purely just using our um, uh, singular.php index.php and page.php so in the next video we will open up our pine grove and we will get started on creating all of these pages so join me in the next video i will see you soon